G'day folks, it's Rob here, and in this little clip I'm just going to run through a couple of bits and pieces that were cut out of the nine essential components for an aquaponic system clip uh, that I posted earlier on in the week or over the weekend. Uh, they're little bits and pieces that I thought might confuse a few folks, and I just wanted to make that clip as basic as possible. So uh, first off, we've got a little bit of a blurb about aquaculture tanks, and um, I've added in there um, a little bit about um, how an alternate method of setting up a solids lifting outlet works in that sort of tank and then we get on to a um, dual drain system and then talking about pH in the system. By the way, I will be covering these topics later on in other clips, so if you do want to catch them, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down there and then the bell icon once it appears and YouTube will send you notifications when I do upload clips to the channel. So I'll stop nattering on and we'll get into the outtakes. You can also buy stock tanks and purpose-built aquaculture tanks made from HDPE or fiberglass if your budget stretches that far. Some of the smaller 1 to 3,000 litres or 270 to 790 gallon-ish tanks can also be supplied with a base. So these bases have little cutouts which allow you to attach a drain fitting to the centre of the base of the tank. Now because there is a drain in the base, we can actually plumb these guys up a little bit differently. Uh, what happens is the swirling motion of the water drags the solids into the centre and we can have our solids lifting outlet situated there to take advantage of that. Uh, what we have is a well on the outside with a couple of holes in the bottom to allow water and the solids through and in the centre we have a standpipe. Now the solids will enter through the ports in the bottom, uh, be drawn up with the water flow exit down through the standpipe and then out to a radial flow filter. Now the filter itself actually sets the water level for the height in the fish tank in this sort of a design. So you need to make sure that the exit pipe in the radial flow settler is as high as the water level you would like in your fish tank itself. Now that's a basic solids lifting outlet for an IBC system and I've used them in my round tanks here but there are other ways to set them up. I'm not going to go through them here but I will mention the Cornell dual drain system. That's basically where you have a small solids outlet down the bottom and clean water is skimmed off the top and taken out to different components in your system. So these dual drain setups are a little bit more advanced than the most basic backyard system plumbing but I thought I'd mention it for you folks who are interested in researching for yourself to see if you want to have a bit of a play around with it. I'll be installing at least one in an upcoming system build so yeah keep an eye out for that if you're interested to see my take on it. Now a crucial bit of kit that a lot of people neglect when they first start out is a test kit. I think it's a must have. Now there's a commonly used test kit called the API freshwater test kit. It measures your pH, a low and a high range, ammonia, nitrite and nitrate. It comes into its own when you're cycling a system, uh, when you're trying to add ammonia sources in there and you want to wait until you see some nitrite appear and then the nitrate and then the nitrite and the ammonia drop and you know your system cycle. Very quick explanation. And the pH definitely comes in handy when it comes to buffering your system. After a while, when your system matures, uh, you'll end up losing a lot of alkalinity. Basically, the nitrification process, very layman terms explanation, nitrification process chews up the alkalinity in the water, which causes your pH to drop. And if you've got some sort of t uh, pH testing mechanism, you can notice it's dropping, add something in to buffer to bring the pH up into a range that's acceptable for both your plants and your fish. Uh, that range is commonly um, 6.5 to 7 on the pH scale. Noisy birds. Just quickly, that centre-based solids lifting outlet really does come into its own in a uh, round tank, mainly because you don't get that swirling action in the square IBCs. But the, um, the dual drain method, where you've got just a little uh, drain fitting in the base of the tank, can be um, set up in a square IBC system as well. And that's something I'll be doing with my mother's system very soon. And yeah, you'll be able to check out that when I post the clip to the channel. Just before I go, I'd like to thank you all out there uh, for stopping by and watching the videos and also get leaving the thumbs up and sharing them when you think they're useful to other people. I really do appreciate it. Also, I'd like to thank all those folks who are supporting us on the various different platforms platforms. Thank you very much for your ongoing support. Um, we have all the funds in a bit of a kitty at the moment and they're being saved up to work on the systems here. So thank you once more to you awesome folks. But yeah, I'll stop nattering on. I do hope you're all well and happy and I'll catch you next clip. Cheers folks. Have a top one.
There's a couple of there's a couple of